chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Now, it's been a long week and long weekend and, and a long drive up here. And so I'm a little tired and my voice is a little weak. But if you help me tonight, you help yourself tomorrow night. Just help me tonight and help yourself tomorrow night. I'll I, I be good tomorrow night. But, but, but let's just do this. Mark chapter 5. I want to look at verse 35 through 39. Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 5. Verse 35 through 39. When you find it, say, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Still looking, say, wait on me. <laughs> Mark chapter 5, verse 39. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. Standing here under the cross, you made the way. Mark chapter 5 and verse 35, the Bible gives us this intelligence. While he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, Your daughter is dead. Why bother the master anymore? And as soon as Jesus heard the words which were spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Don't be afraid, just believe. Somebody shout, I still believe. I still believe. Yeah, verse 37. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Then he came into the house of the ruler of the synagogue. And there was a crowd who was weeping and wailing loud. And when he came in, he said to them, Why are you making such a fuss? And why are you crying? This girl is not dead. She's just asleep. Can you say amen? amen. That's enough. You can be seated in the presence of God. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Look, look back at verse 39, because that's what I'm going to build this message around for the next 18 minutes and 39 seconds. <laughs> and when he came in, he said to them, why are you crying and why are you weeping? This girl is not dead. She's just asleep. Yeah. So, so why are you tripping? Why, why are you crying? Why are you weeping and wailing? This girl is not dead. She's just, why are you crying? Why are you weeping? Why are you tripping? He says, this girl is not dead. She's only, a, so I'll talk for a moment from the subject tonight. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Just look at somebody close to you and tell them it ain't over yet. It ain't over. Uh-uh, that was a hater. Find a celebrator somewhere in the room and just tell them it ain't over yet. It ain't over. Uh-huh. And if your neighbor didn't say nothing to you, learn how to prophesy to yourself and just touch your own self and just declare it ain't over yet. It ain't. It's not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, this fifth chapter of Mark houses and holds some of the most familiar stories in all of the Gospels. Um, three times, Nisha, in one chapter, you see Jesus encounter a man, a woman, and a little girl who all needs a miracle. Uh, for, for instance, when you look at chapter verses 1 through 20, you, you watch him and you get this, this, this cliff, this preview shot, this cliff shot of him interacting with this brother who was demon possessed. The, the Bible declares that this man had literally lost control of his own mind. The devil was running his life. He, he, the devil was running his life to the point where he left his home, he left his family, and he took up residency in the graveyard. And, and when I read that, Pastor 
house and it made sense to me why mama and them used to say don't let the devil ride because if you let the devil ride he's going to want to drive and if you let him drive he's going to take you farther than you want to go he's going to keep you longer than you want to stay and cost you more than you want to pay don't let the devil ride but, but, but obviously that brother didn't have a mother that taught him that song this brother let the devil run his life and the text suggests that this guy is living in the graveyard and he's so wild that nobody could tame him nobody could control him that they would try to chain him but the bible says he break every chain and at night time he would get rocks and he cut himself and he scream and holler in the middle of the night and he done it so long that everybody in town had gotten used to this man being a wild man and the Bible says that Jesus gets off the boat and immediately this man runs I feel better already this man runs up to Jesus and he said he said what do I have to do with you he says please brother don't bother me and Jesus asked that man you Bible readers know this he asked that man what is your name and that man said my name is Legion and you do understand the word legion means 6,000 spirits. Yeah. In other words, this man had so many issues that he had lost his identity. Y'all ain't talking good to me. Listen, people were no longer calling him by his name, but they were calling him by the multiplicity of his issues. Isn't it a trip when folk don't call you who you are, but they address you based on what you're going through? Y'all ain't talking to me. Oh, 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 I mean, don't sit there and act like you don't know where I'm coming from because most of us have been in that place where people knew more about what we did than who we was. Yeah. Oh, God, and you get to that place where you got grown enough in the spirit that you got to set the record straight and you got to let Negroes know, listen, now what I've done and who I am is two different things. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. See, you, 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 you got to learn how to get folks straight. You got to tell folks, you must not know what my name is. I'm not talking about the name your mama gave you. I'm not talking about the name your daddy gave you. But, but what is my name? My name is victory. What is your name? My name is blessed. What, what is your name? My name is favorite. I dare you to touch your name and tell them to say my name. Say, come on, that's the to touch your name and tell them to say my name. And every time you say blessed around me, I'm going to say, huh? Because that's my name. That's my name. That's my. But when you when you say to Linda, not to Barbara, that's my name. <laughs> they, they, they call this brother. They call this brother. They call this brother by his issues rather than his name. You read the Bible. You never find the man's name. You'll only find his issues. Ain't it a trip? When folk don't know you, but they know your issues. Y'all ain't saying folk you ain't never talked to talk about you. Y'all ain't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, but, but that ain't story I came to preach tonight. Because there's a little girl that demands our attention. By the time you get to verse 21. Jesus has dealt with that man who didn't have a name but got issues. Matter of fact, closing in his right mind. And the man was so grateful, he says, let, let me go back with you. He said, no, 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 no. No, you can do more good at home than you can do with me. Yeah. And I said, Gee, why you didn't let that man go with you? He said, because the folks at home knew how crazy he was. And when they see this new they gonna wonder what happened. And he gonna tell them, I messed around and met a man named Jesus. And if there's anybody here that can say, I used to be crazy, but I met a man named Okay, okay, okay. So Jesus gets back on the boat. And when he gets back on the other side, there's a 
That's a little girl yeah. that, that needs our attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get back on the other side of the lake, only to run into a crowd of people who needed his help. Yeah, yeah. Verse 22, check this out. I hope you didn't close about it. I ain't got nothing else to preach. <laughs> Verse 22 says, and behold, mm -hmm. one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, text said, he fell at his feet. Okay. And he began to beg him, I mean, verse 23, began to beg him earnestly saying, my little girl is laying at the point of death. He says, come and watch this. Lay your hand on her. And she will be healed. Uh, watch this. Real. Jairus is a ruler in the synagogue. Jairus is a big man down at the church. Okay, okay, okay. And he comes and falls at Jesus' feet. Now, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that, that's teaching in the text because you know by now that in this day, the religious people and the church folk didn't want nothing to do with Jesus. No, no, they said Jesus is a false prophet. They said Jesus is full of the devil. They said this man is possible. Y'all ain't gonna talk. They said this man is doing stuff that's against the church. He's healing folk on the Sabbath day and church folk don't act like that. He's telling his men they ain't gotta wash their hands and they ain't got to fast and church folk don't act like that. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. And so the church folk had let all their members know if we catch y'all fooling with that man Jesus don't you come back to our church. If we catch you messing with that man don't go to his revival don't go to his crucifixion. If we catch you down at his meeting don't you come back to our church. And so you understand that's why the Bible says in John 3 that Nicodemus comes to him by and Nicodemus wanted what he had, but he didn't want folks to know that he wanted what he had. And you better be careful of folk that want to meet you in private, but won't claim you in public. Uh, 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 Facebook, Facebook, be careful of folk who will praise you in your inbox, but won't never celebrate you on the wall. Okay, Bible says that uh, the church folk didn't want nothing to do Jesus. So that's why this is strange to me. And that's why when I read this, I say, uh, Charles, what are you doing kneeling at this man's feet? Don't you know your deacons gonna vote you out? Jairus, what are you doing at the feet of Jesus? I said, man, you could at least get it behind closed doors. You could have saved your position. But Jairus said to me, Jones, when you desperate, Y'all ain't gonna feel me. Oh, okay, oh, okay. He said, he said, he said, he said, Jones, when you're desperate to have what you gotta have, you'll do what you gotta do. And some of us here folk wonder why you act like you act, and why you shout like you shout, and why you holler like you they don't know. They, listen, if they knew your story, they would understand your praise. If they knew the hell you've been through, they shout for you too. But just touch your neighbor, tell them you just don't know. You just come on, tell them you just don't know. You, you don't know how many nights I cried. You don't, you don't know how many days I've been lonely. Watch this. Watch this. Jarius is desperate for something. His money came back. What Jairus' needs, his position can get for him. He said, Jones, I knew if I was going to get what I needed, 
Yeah. It was going to come from Jesus. Yeah. And sometimes Jesus will put you in a situation yeah. where can't nobody help you My but him. Yo, they're going to come. Sometimes he'll put you in a situation that you can't give nobody credit but him and him alone. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Text said he falls. Jairus ain't being cute. Mm -hmm. Jairus ain't come to show off his clothes. No, no, he came because he needed some help. And there's about 35 of us here tonight just like that. We don't care what nobody got on. We don't care what nobody say about us. We didn't come to see nobody. But we came tonight because we need some help. And we need it right now. Is there anybody here say, I'm here because I need a miracle. I'm here because I need a breakthrough. Watch this. Watch this. And verse 35 says, while he's on his knees, because in order to get something from Jesus, you got to get down. Some of us can't get nothing because we too high. If you want something from he, he says, I, I just need a, a little help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the text said, while he's talking. Somebody comes from his house. And I'm in verse 35. And and says, um, Jairus, your daughter is dead. So don't even bother the master. In other words, maybe you would have had a shot. Had you got to him a little earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, it's over. Stop wearing Jesus, because yes. ain't nothing you or him can do. Mm -hmm. They knew Jairus, mm -hmm. but apparently, they didn't know Jesus. Yeah. I need some help in here. That can tell your enemies, you must not know my Jesus. You, if you think I'm down forever, you must not know my Jesus. If you think cancer's going to take me out, you must not know mine. Watch it. Watch it. But the text said, but Jesus, overhearing what they say. Jesus is so bad that he can talk and listen at the same time. When he hears what they say, he looks at Jairus and said, said, said Jay, don't worry about what they're talking about. <laughs> said, said, don't be afraid. Yeah. He, tears is coming out of his eyes. Yeah. He said, but, but that was my mm -hmm. only daughter. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? And Jesus says, just believe. Yeah. I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, but God told me to tell you stop tripping and just believe. How you gonna get the bills paid? Just believe. How you gonna get healed? Just believe. How you gonna get your enemies off your track? Just believe. Watch it. Watch this. Now, now that's a trip. That's a trip, ladies and gentlemen. Cause, cause, cause. Look at it in the right context. Jesus. And Jairus are on their way to heal the little girl. Uh -huh. And this messenger says, no need to bother him. She's already dead. Uh -huh. In other words, your situation has gone too far. Uh -huh. oh, okay. okay, isn't it a trip? When you need God the most, that's when folk Start trying to talk you out of your miracle. Y'all ain't talking. At the very time you need somebody to encourage you, somebody comes to discourage you. That, that's why you gotta be, that's why you gotta be selective of who you let right. in your sacred space. They can call you arrogant, they can call let them call you whatever you are, but everybody just can't get up in my space. Because when you're in my space, you have access.
access to my ear. And I don't need everybody speaking into my spirit, y'all. Okay. Okay. Jairus had the wrong folk speaking into his spirit. That's why you that's why you don't run up in everybody's prayer line. Because everybody ain't qualified to speak in your spirit, y'all. Y'all ain't no sinner. That's why some of y'all messed up, because everybody laying hands on you. in church say y'all pray for me uh, uh, no no I go to select one to say when you pray for me no because some folk won't pray for you some folks will pray on you they they get in his ear and they say leave him alone ain't no more hope for you but that's why I love Jesus. Because look at what Jesus says. Verse 36. He says, don't be afraid. Just believe. The, the message Bible says, don't listen to them. Trust me. SMJ version, Sean Jones version says, forget them and remember me. Y'all, they said, Jesus said, forget what they say and listen to what I say. In other words, you don't even need them as long as I'm still with you. Wait a minute. I know it looks bad, but check this out. I'm still with you. I know it looks bad. Oh, y'all are going to talk to me. And as long as Jesus is still with you, I got to quit. That's enough for first night. Watch it. So, finally, they get back to Jairus' house. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Bible says there's a crowd of people yes, sir. in the house. Yes. Crying. Yes. Hollering. Yes. Must have been a black funeral. Because <laughs> the Bible says they were making a lot of noise. If you ever been in Caucasian funerals, and ain't nobody crying out loud, but, but ain't no funeral like a black, y'all ain't gonna say, come on, man. <laughs> and all it really takes is one to howl out. Yes, all it takes was, oh, mama. Yes, and you don't even know them, but tears get in your eyes. You, you, walks in, kind of bewildered, kind of perplexed. He says, why are y'all acting like this? Yeah. He said, this little girl ain't dead, but she's just asleep. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And one of the gospel writers suggests that when Jesus said that, the people laughed at him. And the Bible then says that Jesus put them out the house. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, when you when you looking for a miracle and when you believing for a miracle, there's some folk you gotta put out your house. If you can't believe with me, you got to get the step in here. If you can't believe what I'm believing, you can't stay up in here. Because the spirit of doubt is contagious. He says, he says, what you crying about? The girl ain't dead. In other words, all Jesus was saying is, it ain't over yet. I'm, I'm done. That's enough. But I want to encourage somebody tonight and tell you no matter what it looks like, it ain't over yet. Would you just touch two people around you real quick and tell them it ain't over yet? Come on. Come on. Come on tell them it ain't over yet. Come on. Tell somebody it ain't over yet. And I know it looks bad, but it ain't over yet. And I know you've been crying. But it ain't over yet. And I know that things look bad. But the Lord told me to tell somebody that it ain't over until God said it over. Can I get a witness here? And I know it's bad, but it ain't over. And I know it's rough, but it ain't over. And the Bible says. Jesus. 